All right, guys. Um, is there anybody else you guys see coming through the window at all? Not through the window, but like uh, through the window. Can you see anybody that's like, coming across right now? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, help. Hey, they're actually Crocs because I'm getting older, I guess. So, yeah. That's I don't know. Yeah. Aren't you only 20? Yeah, I am. But... Yeah, you're not old at all. I don't know, guys. I got like a seat cushion for my back, so I don't know. I'm acting old. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and start with a warm up really quick. Actually, it's going to require this warm up is going to require you to get to the board. Does anybody recall what the Pythagorean theorem is at all? Okay, who here has never been exposed to the Pythagorean theorem? Like ever, like they don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so does anybody remember what the formula is? Yeah, go ahead, Ruby. Okay, and by the way, what does that tell us? What is a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Like, I mean, that's the Pythagorean theorem, but what does that? help us to solve for, I don't understand. Oh, Sorry, I'm going to give it to Meredith. I'm just going to jump around. Of a right triangle. Okay, so specifically of a right triangle, if you have a right triangle here, uh, my A and B are the shorter sides, and my C is this longer side called the hypotenuse. Uh, what is unique about the hypotenuse other than it's the biggest side? Can anybody else tell me anything else unique about the hypotenuse, which in this case is C here? Like its location, maybe in terms of the uh, triangle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very good. That's true. Uh, yeah. AJ. Very good. So it's the side that's opposite to the right triangle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna launch you guys into groups of like maybe four, three or four to work with each other. You can work at a table, work with each other, break off into pairs. But all I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say here. I'm gonna give you guys a warm up right now. Okay. So see what can I do here okay so you guys over here you guys are gonna solve for me if you guys are gonna solve a few right triangles for me the hypotenuse of the right triangle for these specific triangles so these triangles here that you guys will solve for your a is gonna be equal to five, three your B is gonna be equal to four what is your C gonna be equal to okay that's one triangle another triangle that you're gonna solve for is a is equal to five B is equal to 12. You're going to solve for C for this guy. Okay, I'm not finished, okay? I'm not finished. Okay, so once I write this last triangle here, you guys are going to go immediately to some whiteboard, and then you guys are going to work on it. And then I'm going to move on to the next year. I'm going to tell you you guys which triangles you guys got to solve for, okay? Okay, so 8, 15, and then you don't know. Okay, so you guys, these are your three triangles, your group right here. You guys are going to go right now, break off into groups, or you guys can stay together as one large group. I don't really, uh, I don't want to say care, but you know, I don't mind what, what you're going to do, okay? All right, uh, this middle of the, this middle right here. So uh, Elizabeth, Matthew, Emmeline, Jeremy, and uh, AJ, you five are going to be a group. So your triangles are going to be as follows. A, and please show me all the work very clearly. I want you guys to show me very, very clearly the work. Okay? So yours are going to be, let's see, 6, 8, and 10. Your second triangle that you're going to have to solve for is A, B. Huh? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe. All right. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay. For extra practice, do one now that you know it, okay? And then number three is going to be A is equal to 16, B is equal to 30, and C is equal to what, okay? You guys over here, you last group over here, your last is going to be the best group ever, right? So let's see, Isaac, oh, my God, I completely spaced on your name, young man, Yusuf. Oh, my God, I completely airspaced, okay? I'm airspacing today, okay? So everybody, you guys, right? Uh, Alexis. Oh my god, huh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna leave until I get your name. Oh my god, how could I forget? Okay, Georgia and oh Katie. Oh okay, spacing out here, right? Don't mind me, space just spacing out here. You guys are gonna get A equals 
9, B equals 12, C, you don't know, okay? 2 is A equals, what? 15, B is equal to 36, C, I don't know. So you definitely got the hardest ones, okay? And your A for the last one is going to be A is equal to, oh dear, 24. You can use a calculator, guys, for you guys, okay? B is going to be equal to 45. And C, you don't know, okay? Oh. Oh, there you are. So these are, this is your groups, okay? So please solve for C for me, okay? So Isaac and Yusuf, you guys are in the same group. Amina, you're in this group as well, okay? So Emily, you can go ahead and just join. Yeah, with those three. Or AJ, Navarro, you, good sir. Okay, I forgot your first. Jeremy, okay, I'm spacing out today, all right? Guys, erase all the uh, whiteboard space you can, okay? Okay, tell me if you get too stuffy in here as well, right? Okay, so I'm going to start writing the answers. So for your triangles, what did you guys get for the first one? Okay. So just a quick recap. You did 3 squared plus 4 squared, and you figured out that, that was C squared. And you did 9 plus 16, right? So you go to C squared. You got 25, and then you found the square root. And 5 is equal to C, yeah? Okay, we're just going to, I'm just going to show the work for one triangle, so we all remember how to do that. Okay. Not ugly. Okay, how about the second and third triangles, guys? Okay, 13, 17, very good. Okay, how about you? Me? Yeah, you. The first one? Yes. It's 10. In case you don't know that. In case I don't know that. Okay, thank you. Okay, what did you get for the next one? Okay, very good. And how about the next one? 34. Okay, thank you very much. That is correct. You, yeah, you, you could if you want. Yeah, if you'd like to. Or do I need to? No, if you internalize this, this is fine. This is just to show you, and then I'm going to actually show you what you can possibly actually uh, write down as a note. All right? Okay, so I'll give you guys a little bit of time. Okay, bonus one for you guys then. You guys will do... So last group, don't worry, I'm going to give everyone else a new triangle. Well, you guys just work on your triangles, okay? A, B, C. Yours, your guys' is going to be 14, 48, and don't know that C. So that's your group. Middle group, since you guys are just kind of hanging out right now. Huh? Why not? All right, friend. If you ask, then you guys will get 25, 7, and I don't know B. 5 billion. 5, so easy. Okay. 5 billion. I can't be correct. You didn't even write it out. How do you know if it's not correct? True. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't give it a chance, did I? Well, at the very least, I know that my A and B have to be less than C, so it can't be 5 billion. I'll just deduce it to that logic, at least. Yes. Sorry, I keep uh, tricking you guys, okay? Huh? Yeah, yours is right here. Oh, yours. You you want an extra one? All right, you guys don't have to do the, the fourth one, right? So you guys just chill, but since uh, Isaac all right, is going to bring it upon himself to do an extra one, right? Okay, A, you don't know. B, you get... Oh, all right, you asked for it, 72, and C, you get 75. You asked for it. You brought this upon yourself. Did you guys get the fourth triangle? Okay, 50. That's incorrect. It is. No, it's not. Can I have another No, you gotta, you got to go home. And Did you guys get the first triangle already? Okay, what's your first triangle? 
Okay, how about the second one? Did you guys get the second one? Okay. How about you guys? Yusuf, did you guys get uh, the third triangle? 51? Yeah, it is. Here. 51, yes. All right, just anywhere right now. Uh, how about sit across from Emily right here? Yeah. You sit right here, good sir. Right. Mr. McSweeney, have a seat. Okay, and did you guys figure out the fourth triangle? You got 21. How am I supposed to feel about that? I am supposed to feel great. That is the correct answer. Okay, so you guys, I'm just going to stop you at the second triangle. What would you guys get for the second triangle? 39? Okay, Alexis, you're looking a little weird. Yeah, Katie, 39, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. All right, have a seat, guys. All right, so you guys are good. Okay. Um, does anybody notice a little trend or pattern? See, it's always bigger. That's true. That is a pattern. That's that's not incorrect. Okay. So there is a very deliberate way I organize my writing here for the triangles. Does anybody recognize a pattern between any of these triangles? Any any of these sets of triangles? What? The C, oh, 5, 10, and 15. That's correct. What else do you notice? Anything else? Um, one or two is A plus B is double the two. There's no way five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so your A, B, and C is 5, 12, and 13. What do you mean by double? But the next one uh, is, ten. is double. Oh. Okay, and the next one triple. is triple the original triangle. Okay, does that occur on all the triangles? Okay, and uh, let's see. Anything else we notice? Anything else we would like to bring up? That's all I saw, but I just wanted to know because you guys always surprise me. It's like, actually, Mr. Way, I noticed that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I noticed that too. You know, But a lot of times I don't, so you guys catch it more than I do. Okay, so if you guys don't have to write this down as notes, but these are what we call very, very special triangles. These are common. So the first thing we're going to do... If you need to write a note, you can write this down just as a refresher. This is a refresher for the Pythagorean theorem. P-Y-T-H-A-G-O-R-E-A-N, -P -P Pythagorean theorem. Okay, that's a refresher for the Pythagorean theorem. But if you want to have a title at the top of your page, we're going to go through 10-2, the... P-Y-T-H, I'm just going to abbreviate it for Pythagorean THM, Pythagorean theorem. You're going to put an ampersand. You can just write the word and, and it's converse. We're going to explore what you already know about the Pythagorean theorem and the right triangles, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail. And you might have already gone over some of this stuff last year, but my hope is that by the end, there are a lot of new things that you've never seen before. Okay. So I don't know if you remember, but this triangle, these are special triangles. The top four triangles are special triangles. And everything else below is just simply a variation of the same four special triangles. This is what we call a 3, 4, 5 special triangle. The next one's a 5, 12, 13 special triangle. The next one's 8, 15, 17, and 14, 48, and 50. What I'm trying to say is if, oh, I'm sorry, not, not, yeah, this one I intentionally mixed up. So I apologize. The fourth triangle you want to get in its simplest form is technically right down here. Sorry. These four. These four. I kind of mixed it up. One, two, three, and then four. The simplest simplified versions. You can't divide it any further than 7, 24, and 15. But if you have any triangle with an A and B that has some multiple of 7 and 24, you can bet that the C, the C is going to be some kind of multiple of 25. Okay? Meaning that if I had a triangle that had the dimensions of 21 and 72, if you can recognize that uh, that's simply 7 times 3 and that 72 is simply the 24 times 3, then the C, the original C on that special triangle, which is always 25, would be also multiplied by 3. Okay? That's how the logic works. Does that make sense in any case? Okay. If you wanted to make a summary of it or you wanted to just refer to some kind of page in your book, you can find a table at the bottom. At the bottom here, these are what we call common Pythagorean triples. Okay? 
It's written out with a little bit less work here, but it's the same kind of concept. These are the four main uh, triangles here and here. Okay, um, let me see if I want to go through anything else. I think that's all you really need to know about that. These are common Pythagorean triples. And let's see. Oh, next challenge for you guys. So we're going to work with classifying triangles. Classifying triangles. And then I'm going to give you three sets of... So I'm going to give you three triangles. Three triangles below. Can you... Can you classify... Whether the triangle... Will be a right triangle. Okay, so that's your question, and then I'm going to give you uh, three triangles right now. Okay. Uh, again, the third, uh, this third right here. Yeah. Okay, you guys will do 11, 60, and 61. I'm going to give you the dimensions of A, B, and C. I'm not going to tell you which ones are which. I Hopefully, you guys can deduce which one is going to be your C. So go ahead and try to figure this out. You guys can discuss at your table. You guys can work on a whiteboard, whatever you want. Uh, this middle group will get 7, 14, and 16. Okay. With those dimensions, can you tell me if that's going to be a right triangle or not? you got to classify it. And then you guys right here, okay, the same group is going to be, you guys are going to have 9, 40, and 41. Okay. I'm going to give you guys about 3, 4. Wherever you like, okay. So you can you can discuss at your your table or however you want, okay. So Emmeline and uh, Ian, right? Ian, go ahead and uh, work with uh, Elizabeth and um, is it Matthew and Jeremy and AJ. Feel free to join in if you'd like to, okay. I'm gonna give you guys a, a few minutes. Yeah, Jeremy? Calculator. What about a calculator? This one is still, yeah, this one's still going to work for today's lessons, too. Here you go, get some Yeah? Huh? So tell me, is it a right triangle or not? The triangle that I gave you is. Huh? You are a good sire. I'm going to ask you guys how you guys did so far. Fantabulous. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna open up, uh, unfreeze the page right now. Oops. Or did I just blank it out? No, I didn't blank it out. Okay. And uh, could you get the door for me, Colton? Yes, I can. If it gets stuck in here, let me know. All right, and I'll turn it off. Okay. So, for you guys, did you guys solve this was a right triangle or not? Okay. So, what'd you guys end up doing? It's a right triangle. How'd you know? Uh 
Yeah. Whoa, so what was 60 squared then? 60 squared was uh, 3,000. Okay, and then uh, 61 squared was 30. What is it? 721. Okay, so if that works, so this is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that upholds. That is good. So this makes it a right triangle. Okay, this is a right triangle. All right, uh, which group did 9, 40, and 41? Those are you guys. Okay, did you guys determine if this was a right triangle or not? Okay, uh, okay, so what were the dimensions, or what did you guys end up doing? Same thing, 9 squared plus 41 squared equals 40 squared. Okay, sorry, I just got to keep hearing each other. Okay. Okay, so 40 squared, 41 squared. This is 81. 40 is 1,600, I believe. Or no, what is it? Yeah, and then this one is 1,681. Yeah, okay. So this works out. This is a right triangle as well. Okay, and how about this group in the middle? What would you guys get? It's not a right triangle. You did the same thing? Okay, do me a favor and just tell me what the dimensions are. It's or uh, a when I square them. So this is uh, what is this? Seven, and then fourteen is. Okay, thank you. I, I yeah, I, I completely forget this. And sixteen is two fifty six. So this does not uphold, but if you added forty nine and one hundred ninety six together, what did you end up getting? Two forty five. So in comparison, a squared plus b squared was less than or greater than the c squared. Yeah, less than 256. So in this case, it's this is a right triangle and this is a right triangle, but we have a scenario where we have a squared plus b squared is less than c squared. Uh, can now someone else tell me, like for like some bonus points here, if this is even a real triangle? How would you know if this was a real triangle? Yeah, Elizabeth. Well, actually, how do you know if it's even a triangle to begin with? Even further question. This is a review question now. Yeah, Meredith. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. So let's see. Oh, wait. A plus B has to be greater than C. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. So why don't we all do that really quick to see it first if this is even a real triangle. Really quick as a review at your table. Just go ahead and just do it individually. Check to see if this is a real a right tri or a real triangle or not. Or we can classify this as anything else but that. So you don't have to do this in your homework, but you really don't want to get in the habit of just saying, oh, because it has three different side lengths, it's going to make a triangle. That's not always true, okay? 16, I think that works. Okay, that works. And okay. Is that what you guys end up getting to? Okay, so just a quick reminder. We're not going to do that ever again, but just a quick reminder, okay? So don't ever assume that three dimensions always equals a triangle, right? We're never going to do that again. That was just a quick, quick review. But you did mention that earlier it was an acute triangle. So if we want to verify this, I actually pulled up a little program to see if that's true. And let's actually take a look here. So you got to kind of have to use your imagination, right? So earlier, hello, Alex. Uh, earlier, we had sides of 11, 60, and 61. Oh, and 61, sorry. 61. What is the largest angle in this, sorry, what is the largest angle in this triangle according to uh, the data that you see here that it computes out? It's angle C, which is opposite of our supposed hypotenuse, right? That's, 90, that's a 90 degree uh, angle, right? So that tells you that this is a 90-degree triangle. Um, but let's look at the second one really quick, 90, 40, and 41. Okay, again, do you see that the 90-degree triangle? So Elizabeth supposes this is an acute triangle. What is an acute triangle by definition? Does anybody even recall what an acute triangle is? Yeah? Isn't it when the largest angle is Okay, very good. And let's see if that actually will happen. So that would be 7, 14, and 
16, I believe. Or did I write that down? Correct. Yeah, 7, 14, and 16. Oh, actually, that is, yeah, that is not an acute triangle. What is that, then? That is an obtuse triangle. So in this case here, because your C is bigger, C squared is actually going to be bigger than B squared and A squared. I'm going to go back here. Open this up. I'm going to write a note that if your C squared is bigger than your A squared plus B squared, you would end up getting an obtuse triangle. So you can write that in your notes. Now this, is, this scenario is where you get an obtuse triangle. And if you don't remember what that is, that's a triangle with the largest angle is greater than 90 degrees, OK? So that's an obtuse triangle. I'm not going to explore an example of, like a specific example of a, an acute triangle, but can you maybe infer from contextual clues what, what it would take to get an acute triangle? Yeah, Meredith? If a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared, then you have an acute triangle. Ooh, here's a challenge. Why don't you guys make an acute triangle right now? OK, you guys develop an acute triangle, right? So whoever can get this correct will get some bonus points. So, so yeah, so create one. And I'm going to verify. And plus, you got to make sure if it's even a triangle. If it's not a triangle, my program is going to say right there, this isn't even a triangle, OK? So why don't you take like five minutes challenge? Okay? This is a bonus little challenge really quick. Develop a triangle that's both acute and a real triangle, right? With three sides that make this work. So give me an acute triangle. Good luck. Yes. Five, five, five work? Well, hold on. Let's see. Before we theoretically go here, will it be a right or will it be a real triangle? Um, let's see. I can just verify doing math, but it's kind of boring. You know, you just be, uh, this is really boring math, right? It's kind of nice to see a little program here to do this. If I have it, because I just lost it, I don't know what happened. Sorry, guys. I think my computer is uh, dying on me slowly. I don't know what's going on. OK, here we are. OK, so you said 5, 5, 5. Let's see if that works. 5, 5, and 5. Is this, by definition, an acute triangle? 